Honorable Chief Minister Sri Navin Patnaik, sir, my colleague, Director of Vigilance, respected retired senior government officers present, my colleague, secretaries and senior officers from the state and central government, invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. This year, the Central Vigilance Commission has declared to observe the week from 30th October to 5th November as the Vigilance Awareness Week. This week is observed to com commemorate the birthday of the Iron Man of India, Sardar Ballabhai Patel. He represents the best values in the tradition of a great leader in governance and is a shining example of probity in public life. It is hoped that all of us will emulate these values and adopt the pledge as guiding principles of our lives. In fact, it is heartening to note that large number of people have already realized the importance of eradicating corruption from public life and have vociferously raised their voices against corruption. Implementing honesty and integrity in public life is already one of the main pillars of our state policy. Odisha government has been in the forefront of the fight against corruption and has, over the years, built up a robust institutional framework for curbing corruption in public life. Odisha Vigilance, now in its 67th year since inception, has played a very key role in this fight and has evolved as one of the finest anti-corruption agencies in the country. I am happy to note that Odisha Vigilance has been constantly upgrading its domain expertise in investigation of complex and anti-corruption cases. During the last one year, a number of high-value disproportionate asset, assets and trap cases have been initiated by the Odisha Vigilance, which has generated high deterrence among the unscrupulous elements and has positively impacted governance. However, along with punitive vigilance, implementation of preventive vigilance or internal vigilance is also very essential having the primary responsibility of ensuring integrity and probity within the organization. The heads of the departments and PSUs have a very important role to play in preventing corruption by strengthening their internal vigilance within their departments and organizations. Chief vigilance officers have a very crucial role to play in implementing schemes of preventive vigilance. The methods of preventive vigilance include preparation of a great list of officers, list of officers of doubtful integrity, and agreed list of contractors, suppliers, firms, clearing agents, and undesirable contact men, etc. These lists have to be regularly updated in close coordination with the Odisha Vigilance to keep public servants and outside agents indulging in corrupt practices under constant surveillance and to check their corrupt activities. Elaborate instructions and guidelines have been already issued and adequate capacity building measures initiated in this regard. Further, administrative departments must ensure prompt initiation and disposal of departmental proceedings against corrupt public servants. Instructions in this regard are also in place, which should be scrupulously followed. Another area of vital importance is the expeditious decision on sanction of prosecution in anti-corruption cases referred by the Vigilance Department. For taking decision on grant of sanction of prosecution, a reasonable period of three months can be followed. Dismissal of public servants con convicted by court of law on corruption charges is one of the most effective and demonstrative method of curbing corruption. All heads of the department should therefore take necessary follow-up action in this regard. Our government is taking a number of steps towards enhancing transparency and accountability by adopting the best practices and leveraging modern technology. IT-enabled services are being increasingly introduced in many fields to expedite decision-making processes and to improve service delivery and to make the entire process transparent and accountable. 5T has been a transformative governance philosophy for a fair and efficient governance delivery. Similarly, Mo Sarkar is an important transformative tool to inject professionalism and behavioral change in government offices and its functionaries through random feedback mechanism wherein government directly connects with its citizens. In conclusion, I have no doubt that in order to curb corruption, there is a need of sustained effort on creating awareness and educating people on the evils of corruption. Under the guidance and direction of our Honorable Chief Minister, 
all departments have taken up several measures to ensure that we provide a fair, transparent governance process. All collectors of the districts of the state are carrying out awareness campaign during this Vigilance Awareness Week. I am of a far belief that our sustained efforts will certainly help in eradicating corruption in the state and ensure sustainable growth of our state and prosperity for all. Thank you.